Hi, my name is Sam, and today we're going to learn how to animate the appearance and disappearance of objects in a visa. So the first step in this is to open some data. So we're going to click Open Data, and we're going to go down to Teddy Bear, and we're going to just select all the reference sizes just like that, and click Open, and we'll click OK. So a visa is automatically created in Ortho Slice, but we also want to add in our own volume rendering. So we're going to click on the Teddy Bear 000 and click on Volume Rendering. Now we're just going to edit the volume rendering so the teddy bear shows up properly. The next step is we're just going to hide it. So you can hide the volume rendering just by clicking this blue square here, just like that. And that will hide the volume rendering. Next, we're going to go to the animation director. And we're going to create an animation called Ortho Slice. And we'll click Enter. So I first just want to animate the Ortho Slice and have it go from slice number zero. So we're going to do that by clicking the time dial button to slice number 61, just like that. When it reaches slice 61 at second six, I want the ortho slice to disappear and the volume rendering to appear. So to do this, first we need to identify what viewer we're working with. So right click on any viewer and then click identify all viewers. And this will identify all the viewers. All right. So now that we know this is viewer zero, the first thing we want to do is make the volume rendering settings appear at second six. So first we're going to move to second zero, and then we're going to click this little time dial button and select visibility and viewer zero. So what this does is this allows us to animate the visibility of the volume rendering in viewer zero. So then we're going to go to second six and we're going to add another keyframe in and we're going to change it from off to on. Notice how this also changes the blue square up here, which turns blue when this is on. When we go from second five, the square is gray, but then when we get to second six, the square turns blue, indicating that it's displayed. All right, so the next step is we need to animate the ortho slice. So we just want to turn the ortho slice off at second six. So to do that, we're going to go to the time dial, select visibility and viewer zero once again. So at time code six, we want to turn the ortho slice off and at time code zero, we want the ortho slice to be on. So there we go. Let's see the final product. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.